Welcome to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of November 14th, 2021, Part 1, Leaves. The Magic School Bus, The Wild Leaf Ride, written by Judith Stamper, illustrated by Carolyn Bracken. It's fun to be in Miss Frizzle's class. Miss Frizzle wears funny dresses and funny shoes. She takes us on trips on the Magic School Bus. Do you know why we call the bus magic? Just wait and see. Today we are learning about leaves. We played a game called Leaf Hunt. We looked for leaves near our school. We put the leaves on a poster, but there was one leaf we couldn't find. This leaf is missing. What do leaves do in fall? They fall. Why Leaves Are Green by Tim. In summer, leaves make food for the tree. To do this, they need special green stuff called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll makes leaves look green. It's time for a trip, says Miss Frizzle. Let's go find the missing leaf. Do we have to take a trip? Arnold doesn't like Miss Frizzle's trips. We got into the bus, but the bus started to change. What was it going to be? We're getting smaller. Aren't I small enough? It was the magic school bird. Getting ready for winter by DA. Birds fly south to stay warm. Leaves change color and fall and we put on warm clothes. The birds were flying south for the winter. We did not want to go south. I should have known to stay home today. We flew up over a forest. Everybody jump, said Miss Frizzle. Bye bye, birdie. Miss Frizzle went first. One by one, we jumped after her. At my old school, we never jumped out of a bus bird. We landed in a big beech tree. Its leaves had turned bright yellow. We were so small they seemed huge. We don't need a beech leaf. We already have one on the poster. Leaves change color by Phoebe. In the fall, leaves lose their green color. The green covered up the other colors, colors that were already in the leaves. Without the green, we can see the other colors, red, yellow, orange, and brown. Up ahead, we saw a hole in the tree. Hey, let's look in this hole. Inside the hole was a big pile of nuts. Lunch time! Who put these nuts in here, said Wanda. Soon we found out. These nuts are nothing but trouble. It was a squirrel. We were small. It was big. We ran away fast. Squirrels save nuts to eat in the winter. This squirrel is going nuts. Ralphie ran right into a bird. Ralphie backed up. He backed up some more. He backed right off the branch. Ralphie hung onto a leaf, but the leaf broke off the tree. I call this a bad break. Some leaves fall by Ralphie. Many trees have flat, thin leaves. These cannot live in the winter, so they drop off in the fall. Some don't. Evergreen trees have thick, tough leaves, often shaped like needles. These leaves can last the winter. They stay on the tree for two to three years. Ralphie's leaf started falling, but the wind made it float. It looked like fun, so we all tried it. It was a wild ride. Look, I'm surfing. Plop, we landed in a pile of leaves. Maybe the missing leaf is in here, said Carlos. We all started looking. I can't find the missing leaf. It's still missing. Arnold found the leaf, but really the leaf found Arnold. It fell on top of him. Um. Can someone get this off of me? Our search was over, but our trip was not. We walked under an oak tree. Giant acorns fell on us. Grab an acorn top. These make good hard hats. Acorns are seeds by Wanda. If you plant one little acorn, it can grow into a big oak tree. Then we saw the bus. We ran to get on. It started getting bigger, and so did we. Miss Frizzle drove away. Goodbye, acorns. We're leaving. Ha ha ha. When we came out of the woods, the bus changed one more time. It was a magic school leaf blower. This bus changes more than a leaf in the fall. At last, Miss Frizzle drove back to school. We put the missing leaf on the leaf hunt poster. Now it was done. My book says it's a maple leaf. 
It had been a very busy day, but most days are like that in Miss Frizzle's class. I wonder where we'll go next. I bet it'll be a really cool place. The end. We're gonna do some leaf matching. And your craft to go kit includes a mat with all the leaves printed on it. And all these leaves are cut out. What we're gonna do is color these first. So you'll need crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever. Um, I'm using crayons. And you'll need a glue stick to glue it on. So I'm gonna put the mat aside and I'm going to pull out my leaves and then I'm gonna color them however I want and then I'm gonna match them on the mat. Okay, now that they're all colorful and autumny, all we have to do is match them up to their shapes here and then glue them all on. So we see how they fit like a puzzle. And then we'll just glue them. And that's all there is to it. They're all matched up, they're all colorful. And that's our leaf mat.